In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And my brothers and sisters, we come to celebrate this Mass. Let us first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to O Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your unfathomable providence are pleased to send your holy angels to guard us, hear our supplication as we cry to you, that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I read him from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Have you ever in your lifetime commanded the morning and shown the dawn its place for taking hold of the ends of the earth to the wicked are shaken from its surface. The earth is changed as is clay by the seal and died as though it were a garment. But from the wicked the light is withheld and the arm of pride is shattered. Have you entered into the sources of the sea or walked about in the depths of the abyss? Have the gates of death been shown to you or have you seen the gates of darkness? Have you comprehended the breadth of the earth? Tell me, if you know all. Which is the way to the dwelling place of light? And where is the abode of darkness? That you may take them to their boundaries and set them on their homeward paths. You know because you were born before them, and the number of your years is great. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am of little account, what can I answer you? I put my hand over my mouth. Though I have spoken once, I will not do so again. Though twice, I will do so no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, Along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. If I take the wings of dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, chosen! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. As for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. Whoever listens to you, listens to me. Whoever rejects you, rejects me. And whoever rejects me, rejects the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast day of the guardian angels. And this is a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful truth in the faith that God assigns angels to protect us. I think we need to be very careful because in popular culture, we tend to mistake what this is really all about. The angels in so many ways are much grander than us. By intellect, by majesty, by God's grace, much greater than us. But when you look at popular culture and movies, they often represent guardian angel-like creatures either as being little animals, or, or little things that can't talk, or little things that really don't, don't do a whole lot. And there's been so many movies like this in the recent past. There's also been a lot of movies about these little companions who lead us astray and who do not really want our good, ultimately. I think these days what's really happening is people just completely forget their guardian angels altogether. And forget that God has given us these greater beings, if you will, to really guide and protect us. Ones that we can really have a relationship with. I guess I always imagine uh, heaven to almost kind of be like when I was in band and you had all these band members in the room. And the guardian angel is the one who shares your music stand with you. Um, And I think it's very true that our guardian angels help us to learn the angelic music. Help us to learn how to be in heaven in this life, and then accompany us there, that we get to sit together, if we will. I think one of the more profound relationships we're called to have in this life is with our guardian angels, one of the more deep friendships, deep trusts. And not that our guardian angel takes place of God, not at all. They are that messenger, that bridge between us and God. But I think we need to be aware that every time we come to Mass, our guardian angel is with us. Every time we pray, our guardian angel prays with us. But also when we have those inspirations to do different things, we need to be talking to our guardian angel on whether we should do it or not. I think a devotion to our guardian angel is essential if we truly want to make the best use of the day and not miss out on the opportunity that God has planned. Because the guardian angel really is the one who holds the agenda for the day in a way that we are unable to. And to really grasp the mystery and how profound different turns of events could really be, this is why we need to be in contact. I think the reason God gives us our guardian angels is because if we knew the score like they would do, we'd probably be too afraid to get out of bed. We'd probably be stuck with fear and with awe. And so in a sense, our guardian angel leads us little by little by little. With some people, very unknowingly, because they can't handle it. But for others who are more intentional, who have grown in that relationship, they can see that truth. They can come to know and understand in a deeper way. Notice in our first reading day, we have Job. And of course, Job has a little bit of a breakdown. And God comes in in his mercy and pride saying, Are you God? Do you really know the score? And notice Job's response. Behold, I am of little account. What's really profound here is Job refers to himself as I. Just because God is great and grand and the highest of all highs, so much greater than us, 
we don't lose who we are. I am still a person. I am still who I am. I don't lose my identity because of who God is. God and me are not competitive. Meaning God, just because who God is, doesn't take away from who I am. And notice Job's answer. Behold, I am live account. What can I answer you? I put my hand over my mouth. It's a beautiful statement. I put my hand over my mouth. And remember that the word sacrament comes from the word mystery. And the word mystery literally means to shut your mouth, to put your hand over your mouth. That even when we come to Mass, there are such great things happening here that literally put our hand over our mouth because what can we say? All we can do is really follow and enter more deeply into this mystery, which is beyond words. And so too, in our relationship with the guardian angels, I really think that relationship is beyond words in so many ways. It's almost like a young child who can't speak yet with a parent. They're still able to communicate even though language isn't there. There's just a deep, deep knowing between the mom and the baby, or the dad and the baby, and the baby and their parents. In many ways, with a guardian angel, this needs to be the case where there's this deep, innate communication that is beyond words, that is expressed in our full humanity, whether it be our emotions, our memories, our thoughts, our desires, and words. But it encompasses everything about us. We are told that when we celebrate different vocations, we are given extra guardian angels. For instance, in marriage and in priesthood. Priests actually get three extra guardian angels. I guess it's kind of dangerous being a priest. But we're given extra angels to help us in our ministry. And we believe our guardian angels are very much involved in the Mass in making sure we receive the body of Christ and receive Him most deeply. The tragedy for a lot of people, as we tend to grasp for some spiritual, some higher meaning, when really they're right besides us. They're with us all the time, our guardian angels. And it is our angels who are truly called to help us to know heaven, to know God. There are so many stories with the saints of how angels have been such a huge part of their spiritual journey. I remember one such instance comes from Mother Teresa. She was uh, riding in a train. This is before uh, she left to um, start the Missionaries of Charity. And as she's riding this train, she looked at a distant city and she saw this large, large angel standing over the city because there are guardian angels of cities as well. Dorchester has their protectors. And the angel bowed to Mother Teresa. And Mother Teresa was very, very confused in prayer and started to pray and received a vision of, I believe, her own angel. And her angel basically said, no, the angel of that city was bowing to me because I'm of a higher rank than the angel of that city. It wasn't bowing to you, it was bowing to me. And just the reverence angels have for each other, I think is very important, the way that they live in order, the way they live in praise of God, and the way that we are called to imitate them in that way. I think many times people say, oh, when you go to heaven, you get your wings. I'm sorry, that's not true no matter how many bells ring. Or how many times if someone dies, oh, they're an angel now. No. No, we do not become angels. No. We always stay people. People and angels are very different. But do we, are we called to be with our guardian angels? Yes. But I think we need to be careful how we talk. We're not called to be angels. Grandpa is not an angel for the grandson, the great-grandson. No, that, that's not how this works. We have guardian angels, and they are so far beyond what we can comprehend. But yet we're called to know them and have a relationship with them and enter more deeply into that devotion. I don't know if all of you know your guardian angel prayer to pray at night, but that's such a beautiful devotion to pray. It's one that we teach all of our kids in catechism. Um, and the kids really, really find a lot of peace and comfort in knowing that they have an angel. I always tell the little kids, look, your guardian angel is way more powerful than monsters. So if you think there's something in your room, your first assumption should be it's your guardian angel. Pray to your guardian angel if you're a little afraid, because that's probably who it is. <laughs> it's not a monster. Are you kidding me? You think a guardian angel would let a monster come into your room? Of course not. And how much peace they find in that. The question is, why do we as adults forget that? 
Let's pray in this Mass we remember more and don't ignore our guardian angels quite as much as we sometimes do. Let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop William, all priests and deacons, all who serve in the church and communities, that we will be faithful. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all the sick and suffering, all those without hope, those who do not believe in God and those who care for them, that they will know Christ's healing touch. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all our parishioners, our parish communities. Pray for the success of the mobile pantry today. We pray especially for all those who are suffering from illness, especially from the virus and the quarantine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a special way for the start of our catechetical program that we may be able to educate this next generation on the heavenly mysteries. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died, all those who will die this day, that they will know God's eternal love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. Help us to be ever more faithful to you, that we may truly be able to live in harmony with our guardian angels in a deep relationship that you may truly guide us and lead us through them towards heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all, his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we venerate your holy angels and gracious grant that under their constant protection we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your angels and archangels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exalted adoration. As with one voice of praise, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. 
Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with our holy guardian angels, with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, the other bishops are the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen, grace to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we restore on the world, all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace, O Lord, be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. to you as well. Let us pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. As you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life with so great a sacrament, O Lord, direct us by the ministry of angels into the way of salvation and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a wonderful day, everybody.